This is Trevor Sharpie, and you are watching Joliet Slammers Baseball on Flow Sports TV. Welcome back to Dooley Health and Care Field. Joining me now at this time is Slammer starting pitcher Trevor Sharpie. Trevor, welcome. Hey, thanks for having me out here. Yeah, so Trevor, this is one for you. This is finishing up your third season here in Joliet. And you know, just, first question for you guys right now is, what has Joliet meant to you right now being able to put on the Slammer's uniform in what started as kind of a strange story in 2020? Yeah, um, yeah, I've been out here quite a bit, actually. And, you know, it's not a place you'd think I'd... Uh, I'd come to being being from California, Joliet, Illinois wasn't really on the uh, in the plants, but uh, it's it's meant a lot, and I I can recognize street names now. I know where I'm going. I know where other people are, and it's 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 fun, man. And uh, I love the the support we get out here uh, during the games. The fans this year have been incredible, you know. And it's like uh, you take pride. I think we play kind of like a hard-nosed brand of baseball, you know, and it's right. kind of like the city. It's cool. Yeah, Joliet has always been kind of that blue collar in your face, but a firm handshake kind of community. Yeah. And when the team's playing good, they come out and support the team. And, you know, as you said, coming from California to Joliet, it's, you know, you never would have thought in your wildest years you'd end up in Joliet, Illinois, and especially playing for a team based off the prisons and, mm -hmm. and everything yeah. else, you know, that's kind of what got us on the map. But this team this year has, has shown a lot of good promise and a lot of good signs. And, you know, unfortunately, we're not going to the postseason this year, but this has been a real building block season again for the organization. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, I mean, we played meaningful games up until right. the, the last weekend, and that's that's all you can really ask for. And, and we had a chance. Yeah, and that, that's all it is. That's what Bill and I and all of us were saying is meaningful baseball in the final month of the season. You guys rattle off eight and nine in the last homestand. And things are looking good. That's a lot of Walt's ice cream after the game. That's a winning lot. Streaks. Yes, yes. Got it. Got to love that. Good times in the locker room too. Let me tell you, there's nothing better than getting a win. Oh, uh, and, and it's one of those. That's a testament to the coaching staff, I'd have to say, for the Slammers. What Dan Schlereth has talked about too, kind of just keeping the guys loose, and what Shep's able to do, and Wes Anderson as well. I mean, you guys have it working down there. Yeah, we have it. It's it's the best clubhouse I've ever been involved in, and, and everybody loves each other, and, and the coaches do a great job. And, it's uh, it's really been fun, and you know what I, I I think is a huge part of that is going on that ten day road trip to New York, or was it a twelve day road trip at the beginning of yeah. the season? Throw over to first base, and as you know, I mean, from the minor leagues to frontier league, is that's the bonding time. That's when you're with your brothers on the bus. That's a lot of Smash Brothers and Fortnite and net binging some TV shows. I mean. Every year it changes, and I know for you, video games has been a big escape for you mentally and stuff, just to kind of decompress a little bit after practice or training and everything like yeah. that. And, you know, we're both from the same, born in the same year, so we were kind of that PS2, Xbox, into the HD where we were, like, amazed by it. And, you know, as you've said before, too, and I, I dealt with it as myself being, you know, just playing high school ball and stuff, but it was the negative stigma that kind of followed the, the video game thing yeah. of it. You're like... I'm just trying to play a little bit, and we'll do something where it's like, I just want to play maybe some MVP baseball or some SmackDown, Here Comes the Pain, and just throw somebody around a little bit in the yeah. ring. I just need to decompress for an hour. It's, absolutely. It's the, it's the one time, I know, it's like you can still, you can shut off your brain, right? but still kind of be like have something to, be, to focus on. That's not baseball all, all the time. It's just like all the time I'm, I'm worrying about my, mm -hmm. I'm worrying about how I throw. I'm worrying about did I eat right? Did I sleep right? And then it's like you get to play a video game with your friends and it's it's like, oh, hey, this is fun. You know, it's a little break from reality. Exactly. And you're playing, you're, you got teammates that they're going to come and go to different organizations and different teams. Mm -hmm. As there's a two out single in the left center, maybe more. So he's going to turn this one into a double. So two out double for the Boomers as they get to go ahead, run in scoring position. And this has been a team, Trevor, where we talk about the video games and stuff, but this is a team that, regardless of record, too, has always seemed like a loose group of guys that really enjoyed each other's company. Yes, uh, absolutely. That is probably been the reason why we were as good as we were. We were just, uh, I've never been on a team that everybody supported each other so much. You know, there's always that little bit of competition within teammates, and that has really not been here. Every single guy roots for every single other guy so much, and that's it's a beautiful thing to be a part of. And the one thing you were a part of in 2020 was the City of Champions Cup here in Joliet where the world, not just the United States, not just baseball, the world shut down. Nice where picture. were you when you were, when the news broke to you that this was done on that? But you know what? 
We'll find out more on that. We'll take a quick break here on Flow Sports. We have Trevor Sharpie with us here in Joliet. Don't go anywhere, still tied at two. All right, still with us is Trevor Sharpie. And Trevor, this has been a season where for the Slammers, we were talking about the growth of the Slammers for you coming over in 2020 in the City of Champions Cup. And we talked about coming to Joliet, a place you had never heard of. And when the world shuts down on baseball and just in general, what was it like for you in your, your travels in baseball? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it, the baseball shut down. I would still throw in, but mm -hmm. I mean, obviously it was crazy because we were like, can we get the first, the first couple of days, you know, the first weeks or so. It's like, can we right. even throw a baseball to each other? Right. Like you're telling you not to be around people or close to people. And if there's a sport that relies on touching everything and sharing everything, it's baseball. Yeah. So I know we had a, a gr little growth period through that. And then there was like a month I took off and then I got invited to play here and it was instantly like, yes, you it know, I get to do right? it. I get to do it. And, and uh, First pitch on its way, misses outside. 2-2 two -two ball game here in the bottom of the fifth, joined by Trevor Sharpie. And again, you can email us any questions for Trevor to slammersbroadcasters at gmail.com. Let's see. But I was saying, as, as, I, uh, as I, dro I drove here mm -hmm. from California, I got COVID. Oh. <laughs> so I, I spent, uh, when I got COVID, I had a buddy. I was in Nebraska. I got mm -hmm. my test in Nebraska, so we had to... Do a have a negative test to get in, right? And then so I tested positive, and then I was stuck in Nebraska. I didn't know where to go. I couldn't go home. I couldn't go to Joliet. Right, you're stuck in the halfway point. Nothing but corn. Nothing yeah. but corn. And I happened to have played ball with somebody from Nebraska, and they had a farm, and they let me stay in the basement on so this farm. Go. So I I went and but I was nervous because like I needed to keep throwing because right. the season was starting, and I. Uh, was able to he gave me a bucket of balls and a and a just a rubber pad and I went to the field mm -hmm. the small little field out in the middle of nowhere Nebraska and I was able to throw and came here and it was an unbelievable time met unbelievable people and played unbelievable level of baseball too and it speaks to what the city of Joliet how it is and with the host families and the front office staff and the players and everything and just the surrounding area where you still see a handful of guys from that City of Champions Cup still here. Yeah. As like McGarry, Briley Ware, Cam Ofterhide, and Tyler DePreta Johnson. I mean, these are guys that have called Jolie at home now for a while. And, you know, for you, we always ask, we always joke on the broadcast some of the, the food and stuff in the area. It's an off day in Joliet. What does the Trevor Sharpie go to? Because there's, there's more than just chilies in Joliet. For yeah, there is more yeah. than just chilies. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I love the Southern Cafe for breakfast. No, you can't go wrong there. That's, can't go, that's my before the start meal. Um, oh, geez. What is the best here? I, you know, I've not been Portillo's yet. I need to do that. Oh, my. We, uh, Walt's ice cream is, is probably the best. That's what your mom was telling us is Holzwasser swings and misses for out number one. Einstein still over at first base. Still tied at two. He's going by Trevor Sharpie. So it's a post-game victory for the Slammers, and you're going to Walt's. What's your, what's your ice cream flavor of choice? Um, I get the uh, double scoop of chocolate chip and mint chocolate chip. Ooh, that's a solid combination right there. That's It's the best. Now, how about this guy at the plate, Briley Ware? I mean, what an animal. He's, he's the man. He is the, uh, honestly uh, one of the best leaders I've ever been around. And he's one of those where he's literally fueled by love and his wife's peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He is uh, he's a great man. I was glad we got to share that moment where uh, on Friday night I got to go over there and give him a hug, and that was, that was really cool. It's a moment I won't forget, and um, it's a pleasure being able to play by side. And you coming off a great season again here in 2022. Trevor, you finished the year with a 3.04 earn run average, which is fourth best in the Frontier League right now. I mean, what's the future for Trevor Sharpie look like? I know there's some decompressing and some Fortnite and some thinking. I mean, what does the rest of 2022 look like? For well, you? I uh, actually accepted a junior college pitching coach job. Well, congratulations. A, thank you. Yeah. So I'm going to go and uh, try to teach some other kids how to strike strike some people out. There you, you know? go, right? You pass the baton and pass the baton. some more flamethrowers. Exactly. That, that's what we're going for. And then uh, it's still uh, up in the air whether or not I am going to play next season. Well, it's always been a pleasure to call your games and watch you pitch from 2020 while we had no idea if we would be, yeah. you know, be here for another week or whatever it was 
the future held is Briley oh, nice Ware. Piece. Vintage Briley Ware, a two out choke and poke into right field. A two strike poke into right field, I should say. So now the slammers are cooking a little bit here in the fifth inning. And I got to ask, with the Boomers, you know, you've been a slammer for a while. If there's a team that's kind of a, the rival, whether it's on the field or whatnot, what, when you guys lock up with Schaumburg, regardless of the record book, throw that out. I mean, yeah, it's gloves off when Schaumburg's here or you're up there. It, the games are intense. Yeah. And it, both teams, you can see the intensity of, of uh, both teams when we play. And it's fun. It's definitely fun. They've got a good team down there. Yeah, the Boomers, they've always been a team as there's one off the end of the bat. They'll Eat flip it. the second in time for the out, and that's out number two. So a good defense there by the Boomers. We have men on the corners. And here comes Matt McGarry, a former Boomer. And right now, Trevor, I mean, this is one of those where, I mean, we saw the host family presentation again before the game. I mean, what's it like for you guys in your host family environment? Uh, it's it's very cool. One, they've got uh, – so I'm with two cool guys, Carson and Steve. Mm -hmm. And uh, – we get to we have a pool table in the basement, so I've gotten pretty good at pool this uh, this season so there far. But it's it's very cool. We don't get to see them all that much because we do our live on completely different schedules. Right. But when we do, we'll we'll go and have breakfast and and just enjoy the time. We always get to talk about fun stuff with them, you know. First pitch to Matt McGarry is looked at for ball one, one and zero. Oh. McGarry kickstarted it with a two run triple in the first inning. He can fly, can he? He's yeah, got he's some good. Wheels. He's good. Super athletic. That one fouled the way. Now, speaking of super athletic, not many know this about you, but you are a certified yoga instructor. I am, yes. <laughs> so how did that come to be? I mean, well, as a pitcher, it makes sense. Yeah, as it, well, it just, I started I started doing yoga my first college summer ball because okay. I needed an excuse to get out of the house. We had little kids running around. There right. were little kids running around. Ooh, that was a good pitch. Sure. But uh, So there were little kids running around. I had to get out of the house. So I was like, I'm going to go to yoga. Here's, okay. here's an opportunity. I fell in love with it, and I started going and going in more and more, and then covid came around and they offered a, a course and i was like this is perfect what else like what else am i doing right now I right. and then so that's that's how i did it, it, it did it finish it in joliet illinois too i was oh swing and a miss or excuse me got him looking i should say as that ends it for the slammers as they strand two. trevor sharpie with us trevor it's been a nice time we'll let you get back to work down Thanks. at the dugout but a pleasure and best of luck in the future Thank with you, everything Evan. here we've enjoyed you in joliet Take i really care, appreciate trevor. it